Summary of Hiroshima by John Hersey On August 6, 1945, the atomic bomb was dropped suddenly on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The story then follows six people who lived through the explosion as they talk about their lives before, during, and after it. The first person is a well-liked priest named Reverend Kiyoshi Tanimoto. He gets up early on August 6 to help a friend move some big furniture to another house. At 8.15 a.m., Tanimoto and his friend are outside the house when a bright light flashes across the sky. Tanimoto is thrown to the ground by the force of the blast. But because he is miles away from the center of the blast, he doesn't get hurt badly. Hatsuo Nakamura, who lives in Hiroshima, also gets up very early on August 6. Nakamura is a widow and makes a living by sewing. When the bomb goes off, Nakamura's house is turned into a pile of wreckage. She is able to crawl through the wreckage to get to her three young children and save them. Dr. Masakazu Fuji, who is also from Hiroshima, is sitting on the back porch of his house, which is also a single practice hospital, and reading the paper. The blast is so powerful that it rips the porch off the house and throws it into the river below. Fuji can get out of the river by waiting, even though he broke his collarbone when he fell. Father Wilhelm Kleinsorge, a German priest who lives in Hiroshima, is in his church when the bomb goes off. When the blast happens, the young doctor Terafumi Sasaki is at work in the Red Cross Hospital. Some of the walls of the building are torn apart. Sasaki is not hurt, and he starts helping the people who were hurt right away. The last important character in the book is a young clerk named Tashiko Sasaki. She is sitting in her office when the bomb goes off, and she is crushed under a heavy bookcase. This means that in the first moment of the atomic age, a human being was crushed by books. Tanimoto runs back into the middle of the city after the blast, trying to find his wife, child, and church members. Even though tens of thousands of people who haven't been killed are running through the streets, he manages to find his family. Tanimoto doesn't say much to his wife when he sees her. He just nods, tells her he needs to check on his church, and runs away. At about the same time, Father Kleinsorge and the other priests at his church who are not hurt run through the area to help people get out from under their destroyed homes. Dr. Fuji also puts himself in danger when he helps his friends. Nakamura takes her three unharmed children and leads them to nearby Asano Park, where people in Hiroshima have been told to go in case of an emergency. At this point, fires are breaking out all over Hiroshima. The heat from the nuclear blast was so strong that it is now burning the city's remaining buildings, most of which are made of wood. Dr. Sasaki keeps working hard at the hospital, but Toshiko Sasaki is still stuck under the desk hours later. Two men finally freed her and took her to the courtyard of her building, where she lay for two days without food or water with two other hurt people. Asano Park is where many of the people who still live in Hiroshima get together. Father Kleinsorge and Reverend Tanimoto are both there taking care of the hurt and dying and getting buckets of water from a nearby river for those who need it. Tanimoto finds a small boat, whose dead owners he takes with sorrow, and uses it to take hurt people up the river to a novitiate church outside of the city. There, some monks who have been trained in medicine can give medical care to the people of Hiroshima. On August 15, Emperor Hirohito makes a public announcement that Japan is giving up to the US. A few weeks after the bombing, it becomes painfully clear that many of the people who lived in Hiroshima and escaped the bombing have a rare disease called radiation sickness. One of Mrs. Nakamura's kids is always tired, and Father Kleinsorge has so little energy that he has to go to the hospital. Japanese experts have dealt with radiation sickness before, mostly from people who got too many x-rays, but never on this large of a scale. In addition to having a child who is sick from radiation, Mrs. Nakamura loses her only way to make money when the bomb goes off. Dr. Fuji loses his hospital, Kleinsorge and Tanimoto lose their churches, the blast traumatizes Dr. Sasaki very badly, and Tashiko Sasaki is hurt very badly. In other words, the events of August 6, 1945, still hurt six of the happiest people in Hiroshima. In the long last part of the book, 
which was written 40 years after the bombing, Percy follows the lives of his six main characters. Mrs. Nakamura turns into a normal Hiroshima survivor, or Hibakusha. She fights to make a living, and people avoid her and even bother her. For many years, the Japanese government has done nothing to help her. She works in a chemical plant to help support her kids, but a law from 1957 gives her money and health care benefits. Dr. Terafumi Sasaki goes on to become a very successful doctor, but Hersey says that he puts himself into his work to forget about the past. Father Kleinsorge will live out the rest of his life in Japan. He gets tired and worn out because of the radiation damage, but he keeps teaching children about the Bible and comforting the sick and dying until he dies in 1977. After the Hiroshima bombing, Tashiko Sasaki goes through an amazing change. Father Kleinsorge goes to see her in the hospital and slowly gets her to become a Catholic. Sasaki becomes a nun after she leaves the hospital, and she works her way up to become the mother superior of her order. In 1980, a dinner is held in her honor to celebrate her 25 years of faith. Dr. Fuji continues to have a successful and happy life, but it's possible that the bombing has made him depressed. In 1964, he was found sleeping in his room with the gas heater turned all the way up, which suggests that he was trying to kill himself. Fuji spends the last 11 years of his life in a hospital, where he does not move or speak. Reverend Tanimoto spends the second half of his time working for a range of pacifist causes. In the United States, he gets money for his church and to build a World Peace Center in Hiroshima. Tanimoto doesn't have any real power in the Japanese government, though. He is good at raising money, but he can't change any real laws in his own country. Tanimoto also finds it hard to fit in with his country's anti-nuclear movement, which is led by rebels and secularists on the far left. The most powerful countries in the world keep experimenting with nuclear weapons and adding to their nuclear arsenals year after year. In the 1980s, a study shows that most Hibakusha think nuclear weapons will be used in war again in the future. While this is going on, the Soviet Union and the United States are stockpiling nuclear weapons, which suggests that another nuclear war is likely and that the world is getting short on its memory of the horrors of Hiroshima. About the author. John Hersey was born in China, where his parents were missionaries. At age 10, he moved to New York to go to school. He later went to the prestigious prep school Hotchkiss and then to Yale. After getting his master's degree at Cambridge, Hersey started writing for Time magazine. During World War II, he was a war reporter. He wrote for the New York Times and Life, two of the most popular newspapers and magazines in the United States. Soon after Hiroshima was bombed, Hersey started writing a long piece about it for a magazine. It was later published in The New Yorker and became Hersey's most famous work. After writing Hiroshima, Hersey wrote a lot of other books, both fiction and nonfiction. During the 1960s, he worked at Yale as a residential college master. He was known for supporting leftist student groups. He was regarded by almost everyone as an elder statesman of American journalism. He died in 1993. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.